My name is Madhavi Srinivasan. I'm a professor at the School of Material Science and Engineering, Nanyang Technological University. So my name is Xiaodong Chen. We're interested in developing new materials for the device application, especially in the energy storage related. School of Material Science and Engineering, NTU, is one of the world's largest uh, material science and engineering school. We have a variety of uh, research focus areas, including biomaterials, biomimetic materials, sports materials, materials for sustainability, polymer electronic materials, uh, defense materials, metamaterials, and in general, nanomaterials for a variety of applications. Nanyang Technological University is an exciting place to be working on different materials because of excellent research facility, a very vibrant, collaborative uh, research environment. Here you can find a lot of collaborative colleagues. They can help us to design entire materials modeling, simulation, and in the end, we can really evaluate the performance of materials. ARIAN stands for Energy Research Institute at NTU. Professors and companies work together to come up with uh, real-world solutions. We are looking at uh, how to make batteries safer. We are looking at uh, how do we pack more energy and more power into batteries. And all of this is possible because of the materials that go in as anode and cathode. And uh, we have a lot of research ongoing on these two areas in the School of Material Science and Engineering. This is a lab for the material synthesis. So once every time we have a new idea to synthesize our new materials, this is a place we must have it and keep a try. Recently, we are more in interested in this kind of far ch charging anode materials, especially based on TL2 materials, which is earth abundant materials. Normally, people synthesize the TL2 materials based on hydrothermal method. But what we are doing is we add mechanical stirring. This can make new type of TL2 based materials. Scanning electron microscope can use to characterize the dimension of the materials. We also use other kind of fluid method, for example, X-ray diffraction, which is a method that can tell you the face. Ultra nanotubes materials can go 30 up to 100 micrometers, but diameter is only about 10 to 100 nanometers. Because this ultra nanotube, we don't need too much of binder for electron material fabrication. This is also the reason why our electron materials have a, such performance in this kind of fast charging and also long life cycle. In the lab, we normally assemble this kind of coin cells. It's very small scale battery. Less than about five minutes, we can charge it for 70%. This is a really important application for, them, for this kind of daily use of consumer electronics. Of course, coin cell is kind of a demonstration, but for daily application, we need to scale up. This is a dry room facility for making uh, batteries and uh, this provides as a bridge between the lab and the industries. The actual performance of this material needs to be tested in a large real full cell battery before it can be commercialized. TiO2 material needs to be combined with a suitable cathode, so we are analyzing a suitable cathode material that can be combined. We will scale up this material and do a slurry coating, electrode coating of this material, also the cathode material. We put them together in a full cell battery, namely the 18650 battery, which will tell the performance of these TiO2 material closer to real life application. Once the battery has been uh, fabricated, then we do the battery testing. So we put the battery into several thousands of cycles of charging and discharging to test the efficacy of these battery in terms of voltage, in terms of current stored, and in terms of longevity. How much is the capacity we are getting for this battery? Uh, for this configuration, we are getting about 1,500 milliampere hour. It's been running for about 500 cycles and it is stable. It's about 95% cycle retention. The batteries here have proven uh, very, very effective so far. The TiO2 material can uh, enable charging of our battery within minutes rather than within hours. And we have other research going on on other new materials, including electrolytes, the next generation of lithium-ion batteries that will be coming out. NTUMSC has a lot of collaborations with a variety of industries such as uh, BMW, Rolls-Royce, uh, 3M, Procter & Gamble uh, and many more industries in variety of uh, materials starting from biomaterials uh, to battery materials to polymeric materials. The self-driving car behind me is from Navia. What we are working at NTU MSC is advanced materials which can actually increase the driving range, literally double this driving range and also reduce this charging time to a few minutes is what we are actually aiming at. 
The next step in research is really to look at materials which can store 5 to 10 times the energy than the present day materials uh, to also enhance the cycle stability so that the battery can last for 10 or 20 years. Uh, last but not the least is to look at the safety aspect of the battery. It potentially a lot of application for consumer electronics, even to go to this kind of larger scale, even airplane, marine application, and so on. So we believe what they are doing here will definitely benefit the community, not only in Singapore, also globally. At Nanyang Technological University, the research we are doing is extremely important in terms of energy storage materials. These are very critical for future electric vehicles, not only that, they are also important for renewable energy storage, such as solar and wind technologies. And uh, we are extremely positive that our research is going to make a very big impact in the battery community.